So in this section we're going to analyze all the unit operations related to separators and the difference between separator and column is essentially that the separators use only one stage versus the columns which have plenty of stages. So anyways we have flash number two which is essentially a flash that can operate up to two outlets liquid and vapor. So this will be the liquid, this will be the vapor, and this will be the inlet. Flash number three can handle up to three, but we're not going to model that. But actually, let's do it. As you can see, you need one inlet, two outlets. And you can also have the canter and separator, and separator number two, which of course has two separation layers. Anyways, let's do these two exercises. Let me change feed number one. It will be fit number two. It will be, let's say, the distillate. Let's say distillate one. And it will be the bottom one. It will be the distillate one. Well, it's distillate two. Medium distillate two. And bottom number two. So let's see what happens. So the first things we need to do is set anything so let's do a mixture let's do this mixture uh, let's go next so is it easier f1 yeah let's say this is at 25 celsius one atmosphere and we have 100 kilograms per hour let's say we have a mass flow mass fraction of 25 percent water 33 percent ethanol and let's say propanol and let's say 10 and the rest should be carried out alone so next oops so we need to actually input the data so it should be something around like this yeah perfect so we're done with the composition now let's go for the next one will be the fit number two. So let's say we have mm, we're at 30 Celsius degrees and we're at one atmosphere mass and the total flow rate let's say it's 300 kilograms so the mass actually let's do mass flow 100 kilograms of water 25 of ethanol 75 of this and 100 of this so the total is 300 300 there should be no problem the next thing we already changed to blocks we're in block number three let me change that let's say it's drum one and this will be drum let's see this will be flash flash this is a flash and this is a drum essentially a drum is just a container which you get inlet you hit it and waits until equilibrium takes charge and all the vapor goes through the vapor section and all the liquid goes down so but where are we i don't know but let's go click next so let's say we're operating one atmosphere so here's a tricky part guys if you enter a very low temperature you will not have anything in the vapor section and you will have everything going through the liquid so let's say something around maybe 85 Celsius should be a good guess and the second one is the second flash this one right here let's say it has also actually let's say 85 Celsius uh, 100 Celsius well, actually let's see if we have zero Celsius everything should be liquid and what else we need all is required so why do we why don't we need to specify these guys because that is the answer knowing the equilibrium factor temperatures and all that and knowing the composition and knowing the temperature and pressure we should be able to know how much vapor is going here how much liquid is going here same case for this so this is going to be a pretty interesting case because we're going to have three distillates or at least three product lines so anyway let's go run it and hopefully there are no errors nope 
our results are available. So let's click here. How much was the hit duty? Sorry, we go to results. So we have a hit duty of 128,000 kilojoules per hour. Just in case you were wondering, let's say the composition of this kilomole, well, eventually you will want to change it to kilograms, but we have this, we have plenty of water. I don't know, here's the composition. As you can see, it is more rich in the water section. And this one right here, you can see that there's plenty of formal and plenty of water. Why do we have plenty of water? Because we have a lot of water, so eventually water is going to go up and, and down. You can see ethanol is very low, as the same with propanol, compared to this. Wait for it. Mm, yeah, here. So you can see. almost no ethanol and propanol and the second flash let's see how it went it's results right here so nothing goes here because of course it's too high everything should be going here yeah you can see a little bit some fractions there formats streams all streams let's use petrochemical solids gas Pharma. No, didn't help. Chemical. Air. Can E. Can M. You can keep going to chain form. So all streams. And yeah, more fractions are present. And how much more is left? And finally, you will expect since which was the temperature was 0 celsius because it, it's too low you will expect plenty of liquids going through them through here so let's check out this results are all streams as you can see there's plenty of kilomol in the streams so this is how you use the drum you can either set these two guys and have this unknown and make the drum work backwards so having this type of products let's say i want to have 90 percent here and 10 percent here what feed and at what temperature should i use it for and that's everything for the separator section we've been using flash number two which has two outlets and flash number three which has three outlets so see you in the next section which will be the exchangers